Good day everybody, and welcome. I am Jackson, your host for this epic adventure, and today we are going to take a look at the purpose behind the designing of the Halo Array. The Halo Rings were designed by a super advanced alien race known as the Forerunners. The Forerunners were created and evolved along with an ancient humanity by everlasting beings called Precursors. The Precursors designed humanity and the Forerunners to uphold what is known as the Mantle. In other words, to be the caretakers and watchful eyes of the Milky Way galaxy. The Forerunners were deemed unworthy of upholding the mantle, and humanity was to take their place. With this, the Forerunners began an extermination campaign of the Precursors, in an attempt to save themselves. The Precursors reveled in their destruction, as they were so amazed and blown away at how far their creation had come, and what the Forerunners were capable of. After the annihilation of the Precursors, the Forerunners assumed the mantle uncontested. For a time, this is the way the galaxy was, and there was forced peace among the races in the Forerunner Dominion. While all seemed to be going as the Forerunners wanted, things unseen happened in the background of their reign. In time, humanity began expanding and cleansing Forerunner worlds. Population numbering over 2 billion. Forerunner ships on alert and in battle. Is it possible? Have we gotten ahead of it? Flood infestation detected, my lord. Damn it! My lord, the infestation is in a remote locale. Perhaps if we warn the forerunners? If, if we warn them, we give the flood time to spread. You know we have no choice. Cleanse the planet. In defense of themselves, the Forerunners waged war against humanity, and the two races fought. This all occurred roughly 100,000 years before the current era. During this time, humanity and the Forerunners were almost equally matched technologically, with humanity close to surpassing the Forerunners. After thousands of years of fighting, new light was shed on the cause of this conflict, leading some Forerunners to a revelation that perhaps humanity wasn't expanding, but was running. They concluded this based on the manner in which humanity was moving, and the cleansing tactics they were using against Forerunner worlds. Before the war started, humanity had discovered an organic molecular substance. Over time and experimentation, the organic material evolved and became a parasite known as the Flood. The Flood was a singularity, one mind that assimilated others, and drew wisdom, experience, and knowledge from this ability, making the Flood nearly impossible to stop. Later on, they would learn that it was a form that the Precursors took during their annihilation to once again emerge in the galaxy as a presence. Early on, humanity suppressed them, but the Flood later returned in mass. The Forerunners were unaware of the Flood's reemergence into the galaxy during the Human Forerunner War, and too late did they learn that this was the reason behind humanity's cleansing of their worlds. There was no time to warn the Forerunners. Because of this, the Forerunners almost made the human race extinct, and as punishment for killing billions of Forerunners, humanity was sent on a backwards path. They began to devolve and become simpler as time passed. With humanity no longer fighting against the Flood, the time came when the Forerunners had to pick up the fight, and it was an uphill battle. The Flood was able to regain their ancient precursor technology and use it to absolutely annihilate the Forerunner defense destroying any hope that the foreigners had at stopping the flood through conventional means. As their options for victory became limited, they began to test new weapons of mass destruction. One such weapon was Halo. This was a project that was developed in secret, away from the spotlight and greenlighted by the Forerunner Council. To test the rings, the Forerunners would fire them near populated worlds to determine their effectiveness. In one instance, the large Magellanic Cloud became void of all life from a Forerunner test firing. The war with the Flood drew to an end as the Forerunners were pushed to the brink of destruction. The Flood even managed to destroy the Greater Arc and the first Halo Array, which consisted of 12 much larger rings. The Forerunners luckily had a lesser arc that produced the seven smaller rings we know today. In their final breath, the Forerunners initiated Halo's firing sequence, 
and in an instance, the seven rings sent the once vibrant Milky Way into silence. The rings themselves were designed to kill the Flood by starving them of their food source. With all sentient life now gone from the galaxy, the Flood slowly withered away over time and disappeared from the Milky Way. After the firing of the array, the galaxy was reseeded 100,000 years later by advanced AI that the Forerunner left behind. They reseeded mostly all living species back at their home worlds, where they would once again have the chance to evolve and grow. Nobody really ever knew the true purpose or nature of the Precursors. Perhaps this was their plan all along. Or perhaps there had been a significant failure. In any case, the Halo Array remains in standby, so if the Flood ever returned, the rings could be fired once more and the galaxy would be safe again. Thanks for joining me on this quest of history today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Be sure to come back soon.